I'm gonna show you how to get that dreamy film look into your videos. And the key to this is something called halation and bloom. So I'm gonna jump into Premiere and show you how this is done and there's not gonna be a plugin or a mist filter in sight. Now, before we jump into Premiere Pro, what is the difference between bloom and halation? Obviously, you've jumped into this video because you wanna learn how to do it. And there is quite a big difference here and a lot of people get a little bit confused. Blooming, first of all, is a slightly blurry and hazy look to your lights. Now, if you've been watching the channel for some time, you'll know we recently checked out some filters for the Pocket 3 and you can get something called a Pro Mist Filter. This is something you physically put onto your camera any camera and it's going to bloom the lights and it does make the footage look a lot more cinematic. Now the problem with a Pro Mist filter is that this is actually fixing that look to your camera. So in this tutorial we're going to show you how you can do this within Premiere. So super handy if you don't yet own a Pro Mist filter or if you're not sure if you want that baked into your footage. Now halation is where you add a red color cast to the edges of your footage and it makes it look much more similar to 16mm or 35mm footage. Now if you don't know what that looks like it looks very similar to maybe 80s 90s VHS style looks and the best thing about how we're going to do it is you can dial it in or out it's not a fixed look. Okay so let's jump into Premiere Pro. Now I'm using clips that have natural light sources in so you can see the effect more clearly and we can really see its full potential. First of all, let's jump into the halation effect. So to create the halation effect, you need to do the following steps. First, create an adjustment layer and drag it above your clip. Now, go into your effects panel and search up channel blur. And drag this onto the adjustment layer. Now for the halation, we only need the red to emulate the film look. So let's change the red to 50. And then to blend it nicely, let's change the blend mode to lighten. And you'll notice immediately how good this looks. Now, of course, play around with this, adjust the opacity and really experiment with this. You don't want it to be too weak, too strong. Just get it looking exactly how you want it. Oh, and I'm just gonna jump in here. If you want to download my free gear list, this is a huge live gear list I've created in Google Docs that you can download for free. This shows you every camera, every microphone, any software that we use to create our videos. It has all of the latest links and the latest discounts in there as well, and it's just a free download. So you can check that out in the link in the description below. Also, if you want to download our mist filter effect or a ton of LUTs, we have loads of LUT packages now on the Editor's Key sites. And these really do transform your footage. We do these for full mirrorless cameras, iPhones, the DJI Pocket 3, Osmo Action 4, all of those type of cameras. I'll put the link in the description below, so make sure to check them out. But now, back to the video. Now let's look at the bloom. So the next step is to create the bloom effect, which is gonna add that soft glow to the highlights of our clips. So to do this, we need to do the following steps. Duplicate your clip by holding the Option key and dragging it below the adjustment layer on the timeline. Go to the Effects panel and search for the Luma key. Apply this effect to the top clip and disable the bottom clip by clicking the eye icon right here. In the Effects control panel, Adjust the cutoff and threshold values of the Luma Key effect to isolate the highlights of your clip. The value may vary depending on your clip, but for this example, I'm gonna use 80 for both. Next up, search for the Gaussian Blur effect in the Effects panel and apply it to the top clip. Change the blur amount to a value that creates a smooth glow, such as 12, which is what I'm gonna go for here. You can also lower the opacity of the top clip to reduce the intensity of the bloom. Maybe go for 70 or 80. Now, enable the bottom clip and you can see how the bloom effect looks on your footage. You can toggle the top clip on and off to compare the difference. The bloom effect should add a real nice, hazy, dreamy look to all of your films. If you want to go for more of a vintage film-like style, you can add these extra touches, such as adding some grain over the top of your footage by using this grain overlay. Once added, change the blend mode of the overlay and adjust the opacity to your liking. I'm going to take it down to about 60. And now you have a really nice filmic look. Next, try changing the aspect ratio of your footage to 4x3 by using a border. This will create a more classic and nostalgic feel to your films, and this one looks really great, and it's really on trend at the moment. 
You can copy and paste the grain overlay and the adjustment layer to other clips and the halation and bloom effects will be applied automatically. However, you may need to tweak the settings of the effects depending on your clips, such as the red blurriness and the opacity of the adjustment layer, just to get it absolutely right. So that's how you create the halation and bloom effect within Premiere Pro. Let me know if that has helped you and please do tag us in some of our videos. We're on Instagram using our editor's keys and make sure to see our other videos coming up next. I'll see you there.